when you think of European wine, France and Italy, probably the first countries that come to mind, but not anymore. Coming up, we'll showcase some wines putting an Eastern European country on the map. Welcome back. Well, you've probably tried wines from France and Italy before, but how about Moldova? Believe it or not, the small Eastern European country is one of the largest wine exporters in the world. Our Darlene Hill met up with two experts to get the inside scoop on M Moldovan wine. Take a look. All right, so here's a question for you. What do you enjoy drinking on a nice, relaxing Friday, Saturday? What do you like? A glass of wine, a glass of beer, some champagne? We're here to answer some of those questions for us from Moldova Deluxe. Andre Turia right here. He's an expert at wine. And then, of course, the senior advisor, David Anderson. Gentlemen, thank you for hey. joining us. This bottle is so big right here. David, will you move this for us? That's the, that's the good stuff right there. So what's going on with uh, Moldova? Well, you should know that uh, Moldova in the U.S. has actually had an agreement for 25 years, and the taxpayers in the USA have made a strategic investment in Moldova, particularly in the wine industry. And the in their wines and in their champagnes, and this is yeah. this is all kinds of spirits right here. Because yeah. as we said, we're talking champagne, we're talking wines, and we're talking the good good stuff right here, right? Yes, yeah. Andre. Yeah. Yes. All right. So when you sit back and it's time for you to relax, what does an expert like you like to take a sip of? Um, I would love to have a glass of wine from Moldova, the wine country. You can choose between a variety of reds, whites, rosé. But usually you would like on a maybe winter dark night, like in Chicago, yes. in cold, you will have a dark red. In the summer, of course, we choose a muscat that's going to be a lighter white wine or it's a rosé. It's amazing because I was going to ask you about this one right here. I mean, this looks like some pretty fancy stuff. How much is a bottle like this cost? Uh, this this will here. be on the shelf and it's sold all around Chicago around $9.99. $9.99. And well, this it's kind handmade. of packaging like this? It's a handmade package. They are women actually in Moldova dropping every bottle for each so you can see it and sip it nicely in Chicago. So you help people figure out what to eat, to the, their steak, what to drink while they're having a nice steak, a nice piece of seafood. You help people figure that out, or you go a little bit more high end than that? Uh, no, we actually import and distribute these wines, mm -hmm. but we can always recommend on our Facebook page, on our website, we can always recommend which wine will go nice with uh, wine, with a steak, with cheese. And David, with you, for somebody like you, what are you going with when you like to sit down and just relax? For me, I personally, I love the cognac. The cognac. <laughs> I was going to say, let's get a shot of this one right here because Andre says this is the kind of the, the best of the best out there. Yes, this actually won the gold medal at uh, WSW competition in uh, Florida this year. And it's actually a brandy, we cannot call it technically cognac, but it's made okay. by the same exact method as the best cognac in France. So, so do you drink this with some ice cubes? without? Um, it's a preference. I would like it neat. David probably the same. David? Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Anybody, the, the cognac has to be room temperature. When you keep it in a glass, you have to warm it up before you drink it. If you I've put, seen people do that. Yes. Yeah, so the cognac will be excellent with a nice cigar. It will be perfect. And I, and of course, uh, Guy, our, uh, one of our stagehands here in the uh, studio, not stagehands, one of our photographers here, he just asked about wine, drinking wine. Do you pour it with ice? Do you pour ice? I mean, do you pour your wine over ice? Everybody has their own preferences. Usually a red wine you will drink at room temperature, mm -hmm. but sweeter wine, dessert wines, and white wine, you will you can drink it actually with so ice. So if somebody cold. gives you, so we need to drink some wine then, so yes. if somebody yeah. gives you a glass, some ice with your wine, don't look at them like they're crazy, if no. it's a dessert wine, you say. Absolutely. Okay, so yes. what are we drinking now? Um, what is this? We're going to try a Negro di Purcari. This wine is one most award winning all over the world, not just in USA. And this has in it a rara Negro grape that's uh -huh. it's considered to be one of the rarest grapes on earth. And how much would a bottle like that cost? Uh, this will be at $35. $35 so this is top shelf wine, wine and it's sold at steakhouses and restaurants. So okay, so for a special choice. occasion. Okay. Yes. We're going to celebrate this segment right here. And if people want more information about it, like you said, Andre, how to mix their wines, what to serve it with, what to drink red or white with, where can they go for more information? Uh, they can go to Thank our you. Facebook page, Moldova Deluxe, or to our website, Moldova Deluxe. Cheers. Here Cheers. you go, to the Deluxe Day. All right, All right everybody. Cheers. Have a good one. Ooh, Funny thing is, I don't know where any of those wine bottles have gone. Yeah, I think they're they, all gone. Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah. I never saw a single one of them around the station yeah, you here. You saw Darlene make him crack the $35 a wine uh, a bottle of wine a wine glass. There, Only huh? the best, you yeah. know. Usually my wine comes in a box, so you know yeah. it's uh, a little above me. Box wine is good.